welcome students in nmr spectroscopic problems in this part first we are going to see determination of site of unsaturation it is also known as double bond equivalent and this is the important step for while solving nmr spectroscopic problems by knowing the site of unsaturation we can get the idea about whether compound is saturated or unsaturated or whether compound is cyclic or acyclic in nature thus now we see how site of unsaturation is determined to determine site of unsaturation following steps are done this is step 1 and in step 1 the molecular formula of the compound is given and then following changes are made in the given molecular formula if the molecular formula contains oxygen or sulfur atom then it is neglected in the next step if halogen atom is present in the molecular formula then that halogen atom is replaced by hydrogen atom each halogen atom is replaced by hydrogen atom if molecular formula contains nitrogen atom then each nitrogen atom is replaced by ch and thus certain modifications are done and then the formula comes that formula is known as formula 1 in step 2 the corresponding saturated formula is written the corresponding saturated formula has the general formula cnh twice n plus 2 and that saturated formula is considered as formula number 2 and in step 3 the number of site of unsaturations are calculated and number of site of unsaturation is equal to number of hydrogen atoms less between formula 1 and formula 2 and divided by 2 and that ratio gives the number of site of unsaturation or double bond equivalent now we see some examples this is example number 1 the molecular formula of the given compound is c2h6o now neglect oxygen atom when oxygen atom is neglected then formula becomes c2h6 the corresponding saturated formula for two carbon atoms is c2h6 cn h twice n plus 2 that is c2h6 then site of unsaturation is equal to number of hydrogen atoms less divided by 2 between these two formulas the number of hydrogen atom less is 6 minus 6 that is equal to 0 and 0 divided by 2 is 0 that is the site of unsaturation for this molecular formula is 0 and which indicates the compound is saturated and acyclic in nature then example number 2 the molecular formula is c4h8o in that case also neglect oxygen atom then formula becomes c4h8 the corresponding saturated formula for four carbon atoms is c4h10 and the site of unsaturation is equal to number of hydrogen atom less between formula 2 and formula 1 that is 10 minus 8 divided by 2 that is equal to 2 divided by 2 that is equal to 1 that is this compound contains either carbon carbon double bond or carbon oxygen double bond and such information we will get from the site of unsaturation now we see pro example number 3 the molecular formula is c3h7cl halogen atom is present in the molecular formula therefore each halogen is replaced by one hydrogen atom therefore replace chlorine atom by hydrogen atom then formula becomes c3h8 corresponding saturated formula for three carbon atoms is c3 h8 and in that case also the site of unsaturation is equal to number of hydrogen atoms less 
that is 0 and 0 divided by 2 is equal to 0 that is site of pulse saturation is 0 that is compound is saturated and acyclic in nature. Then example number 4. The molecular formula is C7H8. In that case, there is no any oxygen, halogen or nitrogen atom and therefore we directly write the corresponding saturated formula for this compound which is C7H16. For 7 carbon atoms, CnH twice n plus 2 is C7H16 and therefore the site of unsaturation is equal to 16 minus 8 divided by 2 that is equal to 8 divided by 2 that is equal to 4. That is for that compound the site of unsaturation is 4. The next example is C6H7N. This formula contains nitrogen atom. Therefore replace nitrogen atom by CH. Then formula becomes C7H8. C6H7 when we add in that CH then C7H8. The corresponding saturated formula is C7H16 and similar to previous example the site of unsaturation is equal to 8 divided by 2 that is equal to 4 and thus by that simple tricks we can determine the site of unsaturation or a double bond equivalent for the compound. Then nature of site of unsaturation. If the site of unsaturation is 0, then 0 site of unsaturation shows presence of a cyclic saturated compound. If the compound contains one double bond, that is one pi bond, then it corresponds to one site of unsaturation, that is carbon double bond carbon or carbon double bond oxygen or carbon double bond sulfur, each bond have one site of unsaturation. Presence of one triple bond, that is two pi bonds, corresponds to two sites of unsaturation. Two sites of unsaturation may indicate presence of two double bonds. For example, carbon double bond carbon and carbon double bond oxygen. If the compound contains such two uh, double bonds, then its site of unsaturation is 2. Then carbon triple bond carbon and carbon triple bond nitrogen. Each carbon triple bond carbon, each carbon triple bond nitrogen corresponds to two sites of unsaturation because these bonds contain two pi bonds. Then presence of one ring corresponds to one site of unsaturation. When a cyclic compound is converted into cyclic compound, then there is a shortage of two hydrogen atoms. Therefore, presence of one ring corresponds to one site of unsaturation. For example, the phenyl ring. In case of phenyl ring, there are four sites of unsaturation. Because a phenyl ring contains three double bonds, therefore for three double bonds, three sites of unsaturation and for one ring, there is a one site of unsaturation. Thus, for phenyl ring, there are four sites of unsaturation. This is the nature of site of unsaturation. Thus, in this video, we see that how site of unsaturation is determined the nature of site of unsaturation and some examples of determination of site of unsaturations are calculated. Thanks for watching this video.